So I think if you kind of look at leaders, leaders for the past 10 years or so, uh, and actually I, I give talks at business schools too, and I sometimes blame them for creating spreadsheet-driven leadership uh, models where we are actually looking at spreadsheets and making decisions on to make investments or not make investments. We do that too all the time. But mo that model is changing where now leaders are expected to have the human element and be approachable and have authenticity makes a huge difference, whether you're attracting people to recruit them to work with you, or actually creating a work environment where people feel they can contribute a lot. So this is something I firmly believe in, and I think more and more leaders who are successful have to be both analytical, but also empathetic. And so I think that is really, the danger is when we use technology and we can automate everything, and I just talked about how Internet of Everything can do all of the analytics and tell us how to make better decisions. Uh, we still kind of have to have the authenticity in leadership that's going to be important. The second, I think, big shift that's happening is leaders now no longer get to dictate or tell the groups that they're leading what needs to be done. I think decision making is still an important attribute, but along with that, sharing experiences and making co coming collectively to decisions is really becoming important. And that doesn't mean just your team, by the way. I actually use Twitter quite a bit. And I use Twitter to test ideas sometimes. It's not necessarily from my own group. I talk about the internet of everything, and I'll post something, and I'll see how many people are responding to it and what the general, uh, general feedback is to that. Right? So this engagement model and how you engage people in a broader sense, uh, I think influence is a big aspect of leadership in addition to just making decisions. So I think having an influence platform and social media can really help uh, in this, but actually being able to use that is effectively as a leader is extremely important going forward. And the third, I think, big shift is leaders in the future have to be really more, uh, really more about being community builders. And what do I mean by that? And so I grew up in India. So I belong to a community of uh, Americans from India, right? So I've lived here a long time, but there is, and I went to IIT in India, so there's an IIT alumni association that I belong to. I went to graduate school at Cornell. So I have a Cornell community that I belong to. I'm a woman engineer, so I have a community of women in tech that I belong to. And of course, I have a community of Cisco people that I belong to. I speak at lots of universities, so I have lots of people from universities, startups, etc. So you, as an individual, belong to many different communities. How do you balance when to share something that you got from one community with another or not? And so this leads into lots of complicated discussions about privacy, do you use the information somebody puts on a social website in the interview process or not? You know, you belong to both communities. So I think this whole topic about privacy and what is what you can share and how, as a leader, you deal with belonging to multiple communities is going to be extremely important as well going forward. And leaders in the past really didn't have to deal with that. Now, of course, you have an option not to participate in any of that as a leader, right? People ask me, why are you on Twitter? Aren't you afraid that you'll say something? Because although I say this is my personal platform, people read whatever I post as the CTO of Cisco said. So you can never confuse the two. There is no such thing as this is my personal platform, this is my work platform. They do blend, right? So I can choose not to be on it. But then I'm losing out as a leader to have a broader sphere of influence, which is not good. I need to have that broad sphere of influence. So knowing really how to deal with that is a very subtle but complex skill in leadership that people need to develop going forward.